Bob Lutz, Paul Sullendrop from Tulsa, where the Shockers tonight erupt in the second half again. A common storyline so far this season for Wichita State. They beat Tulsa by 23, and it's a story about the guards tonight. And yeah, they were both really good, especially in the second half. You know, Ron Baker kept them in the game in the first half. He had nine, nine points, three threes, and then I thought Fred uh, played well early in the first half, maybe got a little bit out of control, but then, boy, in the second half, both of them were really good. I think I tweeted something negative about Fred Van Vliet tonight in that first half, and I feel terrible about it, but uh, observations can change, and he was outstanding in the second half, as was Ron Baker. And do you have an explanation for why the Shockers are even at halftime in the last four games, but up 71 in the second half? Uh, I guess I'm just going to chalk it up to kind of one of those random things, and over the course of a 30-game season, we'll probably see some different, probably see some different permutations of that. Uh, you know, maybe they're making some you like permutations, didn't you? We'll probably see some. I did. You know, I guess there's got to be some adjustments at halftime, and I think tonight, you know, I was just kind of waiting for the Shockers, kind of their maturity and their experience to take over, and uh, you got to give Tulsa credit. I thought they played really well for about 25 or 30 minutes. You know, Tulsa with Danny Manning, we both think I, uh, I'm sure that uh, eventually he's going to turn it around here, but it hasn't ignited yet. They're now on three. They. They've lost to Missouri State, Oral Roberts, and now the Shockers. What did you see from the, the hurricane tonight? I thought they were very athletic. You know, it's not often that the ball goes up on the backboard and you kind of feel like Wichita State is the team that's, you know, that's, that's not quickest to the ball, that's not the biggest team out there. And a little bit of that was the foul trouble tonight. But, you know, I think Wichita State really had to rebound with some, some desperation because Tulsa had you know, the bigger guys and the more athletic guys. You pulled the big quote out of Greg Marshall tonight, the one I would have loved to have had about how his team was a C minus in those four home games, but an A tonight here in Tulsa. He was very pleased with his performance. Uh, uh, he saw a team kind of come of age, I think, in the second half tonight. I, I think there's always got to be a question, a little bit of fear when you go on the road for the first time. And while there's you know, a lot of experienced guys back from the Final Four, you know, Fred Van Vliet is in a, is in a different role. Ron Baker's in a little bit different role, uh, and you got you know new post players. So I, I think this was. You know, nationally, nobody's going to care about this game because Tulsa's 0-3. But uh, I think that uh, you know it's one that Wichita State should be pretty pleased with. And we're hoping that the, our videographer tonight, Fernando Salazar, has held his phone uh, steady. Uh, it seems like he's done a pretty good job. We'll see you. Uh, the Shockers now go to Kansas City for the CBE Classic. That starts Monday against DePaul. We'll see you from there.